Lauren Elizabeth and this is Emerson Alexander, my Brazilian tufted capuchin monkey. So a lot of you guys have been asking about where we've been, what's been going on, so I want to do a little bit of an update for everybody. We moved into our new house, we are filming from inside of our monkey room. As you can see, it's very nice to have a room that is entirely dedicated to my monkeys, 100%. See the marmoset cage right there, everybody's chilling in the cage, it's almost bedtime. Um, and then this is going to be one of Emerson's adult cages, not his primary enclosure. We just did get the materials to build his primary enclosure. It's going to be 10 foot by 10 foot by 7 foot tall. And that will be constructed out on our back screens in patio. Um, this will be his indoor cage when he's older, if I have to run to the store or um, in case of an emergency, basically. But he likes it. He already explores on top of it. He's not really been in it. Um, he's still really small, so he goes in his little kennel um, while I'm in class or if I have to go to the store right now. But eventually, he will be getting used to this cage as well. I like it. It is an Avian Adventures, I believe, Hacienda model. So it's very large, very spacious. What I like about it is there's actually a couple models that are slightly taller um, and actually cost a lot less. And they're, they're just slightly bigger. But this one, even though it costs about $200 more than those models, is very, very sturdy. It's not going anywhere. This thing is heavy. It took three of us to move the box into the house. It's a very, very large cage. Um, so I really like it. And that's what he will be getting used to as he gets bigger. So I'm sure you guys want to see him. There he is. Say hi, Ems. Hi, buddy. Yeah. Say hi to all your fans. They all want to see you. He's gotten so big. He is two and a half pounds and he's four months old now. Um, so a little bit about what we've been up to in March, the first weekend of March, um, we were at Everglades National Park in Homestead, Florida with a group of our friends. And Emerson and I were actually approached by a professional photographer for National Geographic. So Emerson ended up doing a photo shoot with them. We were followed around by them for the rest of the day and Emerson got to take um, a lot of pictures with them, which was really cool. Um, so they said that the issue is going to be published December of 2016. So we still have a couple months until it comes out, but I just wanted to share with everybody, definitely keep an eye out for that. It's gonna be really cool to be able to see Emerson in a very popular magazine. Um, so that was his first big break. And then about two weeks ago, he's tangling me up with the leash. About two weeks ago, he actually was used with me in a documentary promoting responsible exotic pet ownership, which I'm huge on. Everybody who knows me knows I am all about people owning exotic pets. I don't care what you have on your property. It doesn't matter to me as long as you own it responsibly. So it was very important to me to be able to do a documentary on responsible exotic pet ownership. The people that produce the documentary actually own exotic animals themselves and they're exotic animal enthusiasts. So I'm very excited to see the turnout of it. I think it's going to be a really powerful, um, motivating documentary. And I know a lot of people have made documentaries in the past that have kind of in one way or another slandered exotic pet owners and made us out to be crazy people or um, inadequate caregivers for our animals. But I think this one is really going to get the message across in a way that all of us can really appreciate. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that as well. Um, as far as production date, it's expected to be released sometime in 2017. As soon as I get more information from the producers, I will definitely be updating everybody and providing links and whatnot. It is going to premiere on national television, so that's really, really cool. Um, Emerson is only four months old, and he's already got a resume that's much longer and much more um, respectable than mine and most people, I would think. He is a very, very special monkey to us. So... He's doing really well. He's, he's doing good. Um, he had his first professional training session tonight with Tim at Santa Clarita Animal Training. He, Tim has worked with dozens and dozens and dozens, hundreds, thousands of different species. He's worked with exotic animals, domestic animals, you name it. He's a wonderful trainer and he has trained many, many capuchins. Um, so he's been helping us with Emerson. And right now we're working on simple stuff. We're trying to desensitize him, get him used to everything, everyone. Uh, different people, animals, anything you can really think of, just so he's a comfortable, confident monkey. Um, we're teaching him to recognize different parts of his body, to allow us to hold him and restrain him in different manners, to grab his feet, grab his hands, grab his tail, let us examine them, hold them, things like that, just to get him um, 
to have a good foundation. A good foundation with a monkey is really important. The better the foundation, the easier it's going to be to build on later on. So that's kind of what's been going on with us. Yeah, right? It's been fun. He's really good for his baths. I have to post a bath video for you guys. He loves baths. Most of the time he falls asleep in the shower. Am I getting kisses? Oh, kisses. Oh. Mm. As you can see, he's a lover. He gives kisses to everything. Everything he sees, my dogs, my cat, he grabs them, he wants to cover them in kisses. He is best friends with my Corgi, which you can kind of see. She's hanging out with me. She follows me around the house. They are best friends, inseparable. She's a wonderful dog, and she loves him, and he loves her. And I'm really awesome. It's really awesome that he's able to have that relationship with the other animals here. And all the Marvis sets are doing well. Everybody's kind of settling in. They're a little bit more stressed due to the move than Emerson was. Emerson adjusted really quickly. The marmosets are still kind of getting settled in. Um, so they're in their cage right now, but it's almost bedtime. Um, so they're doing okay. Uh, other than that, everything else is pretty going pretty well. I do have a lot of videos that I've been taking of Emerson on my phone. I just haven't gotten around to posting them on YouTube. So I am going to go back through my phone clear out some of the older videos and try to post them for you guys. Um, unfortunately, I can't post them directly from Facebook onto YouTube. I don't believe it allows me to do that, but I will be going through saving them and posting them here eventually over the next couple days. So that's about it. Um, mommy got a new job. That's exciting. I'm working as a customer service associate for Amazon. I get to stay home with my baby. Um, I work five days a week, 6 a.m. to 3 p.m., which is wonderful. Emerson definitely appreciates me being able to be here home with him and being able to have a job because that's how mommy pays the bills and that's how mommy is able to buy him lots of toys and fun things. So it's good. It's a very awesome job and my team is really awesome to work with. I'm enjoying it a lot. So that's about it guys. Um, right? Is there anything else Emmy? He wants to say hi. I know last time you guys saw him, he was so tiny. He wasn't even jumping yet. Wait till you see the other videos I post. He's got it. He's very independent. He's a good boy. He really is. All right. Well, until next time, guys, we'll be posting more videos soon. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update, like I said, because a lot of people were wondering what happened to us. We're right here. We've just been very busy with our own little family. So as soon as I can get around to it, we'll be posting a lot more videos for you guys. All right. Have a great night. Okay, bye, Emmy.